Guys, what's up? How we doing? It's Josh uh, checking in again. Wanted to give another, uh, I guess, update, if that's what you want to call it, on me using the Light Phone 2. Um, this, in this I wanted to kind of do a, a deeper little dive into kind of the specs of everything and what this little guy has going on for it, okay? Um, so I pulled up the website here, um, and I'm gonna just kind of go through just some of the specs, right? And some of the specs here, it says it is, like the network itself is, is 4G. It's 4G LTE. Um, it is an unlocked device, okay? Um, so it's not, uh, it's not locked or anything like that, nothing fancy. I mean, it's just a 4G LTE unlocked device. Um, like I said before, it is the e-ink display. So I'm just kind of pulling it up again so you guys can see. If I put it up here or whatever, it is pretty cool. Uh, now obviously the, the backlight or whatever is on it. Um, but yeah. It does have the option to turn the backlight off as well, but I mean the dimensions itself, guys. It's the size, the size of a credit card, the size of a freaking credit card. It is 95 by 55 by 8.75 millimeters. Here, it's only 78 grams in weight. Um, the the battery life in this, I it's been pretty shocking to me. I've, I've been getting pretty good battery out of it, obviously with the e-ink display, nothing really running in the background, none of that crap. So it does say you can get one to two days of regular use, uh, up to seven days of just standby. Uh, but it does say it is 950, uh, I believe this is milliamp, maybe, help me out, whatever. Um, the operating system is just the native operating system, the light. OS, so light operating system. Um, it does have GPS, it does have Bluetooth as well, and it does have Wi Fi. Um, so, yeah, it's just the micro USB port, which is just down here by my finger, and then right next to it is the microphone as well. One thing that it does have up top here that I appreciate is the this is the power button, obviously, but then over here is the the headphone jack. So it has that as well, um, which is you know just the standard um, headphone jack. Um, but yeah, it does color, come in two different colors. This one obviously is the black, and the other one is the light gray. It looks more like a, a very similar to a white, but it is light gray for sure. Um, guys, I mean that's basically honestly it. Um, it, <laughs> it's pretty cool, but I'm just going to read this. So the features, right? So it says out of the box, the Light Phone 2's core functionality includes calls, messages, as well as an alarm clock and, and a hotspot. So you can use this as a, as a hotspot. So you're out on the go or whatever. Um, and like I said before in previous videos, three times a day I'm doing the, the social media thing on my, on my actual phone here. So if I'm out and about and I don't have Wi-Fi, then this would serve as the hotspot for the other phone. So pretty cool. Um, where was I, where was I, where was I? Um, there is a customizable toolbox menu for the, for the phone in which you can then add or remove various additional features to your Light Phone 2. These tools uh, are in development and will be released uh, ongoing as they become available. Uh, we're working closely with our early adopters uh, to design these tools. So like one tool that they just came out with, it is available now, is a calculator. Um, so you can get on to you know, thelightphone.com and you know, you you sign up for your little account or whatever, which is free, and then you can customize your phone. So I could go in there, I could add a calculator, it would then download it onto the phone, 
you're off and running. You're good to go. Uh, it, it really is that simple. Um, it says, while considering additional functionality for the Light Phone 2, it's important to remember all of the features that it will never have. Uh, the Light Phone 2 will never have social media, email, news, or ads, okay? Our tools are intentional, and there is a clear objective in opening the tool. So there will never be an infinite feed. The device itself with a small black and white screen reflects this philosophy and inherently limits the phone's functionality. So this is all very much on purpose, and that's why I find this idea so outstanding. Um, the Light Phone 2 currently only supports an English keyboard slash language on the device. You will be able to view incoming messages in a variety of languages and characters. We plan to expand our language support. Thanks for understanding. So uh, again, this is kind of a work in progress, which is also really, really kind of cool uh, to be able to get in on the, on the ground floor here. Now, there was one other thing that I wanted to get into, if I can... And here we are. So, let's say hypothetically, you want to just grab this device. You want to completely ditch your other device. You want to, let's say you have one of the major carriers, uh, you know, Sprint, T-Mobile, Verizon, what have you. You want to ditch it completely. You can take the number that they already gave you and you can port that number to this, okay? Meaning that when you port your number, you are cutting ties with that provider, okay? Very important <laughs> to remember that, that you'd be cutting ties with your provider, and then you would be then adopting a service plan from the, from the light phone, okay? Now, with that, here's the plan, okay? We are offering an optional service plan and a SIM card. So like when I got this, I got a SIM card as well. Um, but we are offering an optional service plan and SIM card to make the whole experience of going light for good even more streamlined and straightforward. So, guys, this is $30 a month for their service. $30 a month. That's it. Okay? Enjoy unlimited calls, unlimited messages on your light phone too with our tailored service plan. Currently limited to users in the United States only, you can keep your existing phone number or get a new one. So they will give you a new number if that's what you're after. Or like I said before, you can keep your current number and just port that number. Um, very, very cool. Like I said, it did come with a SIM card. Obviously, I'm not using that. I'm using the SIM card that I had in this guy as well. So um, just, you know, popped it out of there, popped it into here, and that's that. Um, guys, that's that's literally it. Now, let's talk, briefly, let's just talk about price, okay? How much for this device? How much money are you going to spend on this device? Now, here's where I can go either way because this is interesting to me. Okay, but let me let me just say this, okay? So for my iPhone 10 or iPhone X or whatever it is that you want to call it, this was an this was a $1000 phone. $1000 for this phone. Now this phone literally has my entire life on it. Okay? So you're also buying convenience, you're buying all of that, but I think primarily you're also buying that logo that's right there um, but for this phone that like I said it will only call and text use it as a hot spot I do know that they are working on like um, they are working on getting navigation on this as well which would be huge absolutely huge um, me directionally challenged I uh, use navigation all the time but regardless, for this device, guys, you're looking at $350. Now, $350 in comparison to $1,000, it's not 
it's not much you know what I'm saying so um, really kind of crazy so a thousand dollars three whoops I almost dropped it three hundred and fifty dollars right here guys um, some people would say that's way too much way too much money to spend on something that does so little um, I would probably disagree with that honestly I would say three hundred and fifty dollars is a very fair price for something like this um, it is durable I like I said I almost dropped it right there <laughs> whoops but it is a durable device it is um, it doesn't feel it doesn't necessarily feel cheap or or chintzy or anything like that I don't think they cut any corners whatsoever honestly I think they put a lot of thought and, and, and time and effort into this um, again like one of the founders of this, uh, his name is Joe, and I was listening to a lot of his uh, speeches and things that he's said in the past or whatever, and all that went into this. And it is quite remarkable, really, kind of the journey that they've taken to do this. So, um, like I said, it, it's a very well-built device. And for $350, I think totally worth it, especially if you're wanting to cut that cord. If you're wanting to step away from the madness okay now obviously um, my journey in this has just started okay so this is fairly new to me um, anything else that you guys may want to know or whatever and again I'm gonna link this website uh, in the description of the of the video so I will do that for you guys so if you guys want like be my guest please go check this out because it is really remarkable what is happening um, you know, one thing that I, I've been kicking this around now for just a few weeks, right? Getting this phone and wanting to try something like this digital detox. And one thing that I noticed is, uh, Apple has put on what they call screen time, right? So it'll tell you how often you're on the phone, what apps you're using, blah, blah, blah. It also gives you the option at a specific time or whatever to cut specific apps out so no more notifications from Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or any of that crap right none of it you could shut off whatever you wish and allow whatever you wish so you could still get your email your phone calls obviously things like that but I, I, I played around with screen time for quite some time and I tried to limit myself as much as I possibly could especially in the evenings when I'm around my children However, it really is just as simple as saying, oh, because they'll tell you oh, you're out of time for the day. Well, then you just click the button and you're like, oh, well, allow me more time. And you could say, ignore these notifications for the rest of this day or ignore, give me 15 more minutes or give me one minute. You can say whatever you'd like, but it really is that simple to just keep going and just keep going. I've had plenty of friends contact me and be like, oh, dude, you're crazy. You're stupid. Why don't you just delete the app? Like, delete Facebook, right? Well, I can't really do that either because, number one, I need to promote certain things, right? And I need to stay connected in that respect. But at the, second, at the same time, it's like, yeah, sure, you could delete it if you want, but there's always another app. There's always another app out there that is going to be begging for your time. And the thing is, the way these apps are designed, it is so brilliant how they can just consume us. One app in particular is TikTok. And I didn't think I would jump on the whole TikTok train, but oh my God. Like you just sit there and watch minute long videos over and over and over and you're just scrolling constantly and before you know it a half hour has gone by an hour has gone by 90 minutes has gone by it is ridiculous okay I am I, apparently I'm just a weak person maybe maybe that's it I don't know but guys definitely I'm telling you if you want to do something like this this is this is the phone this is really cool very very cool um, and so I'm sure we'll get into some more of the, the fun little specs and things like that here and there along this journey. But guys, right now I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying my experience. Um, we'll get into some more specifics in a, in a future video, I promise. Uh, kind of my behavior, 
okay? Which will be quite humorous, I'm sure. But anyway, hope you guys are doing great. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.